Warning, the following video contains like an unnecessary amount of strong language. So, you know, viewer discretion is advised. You know, not, not for kids is what I'm trying to say. Hey guys, what's up? Toxic here with, uh, something, well, I'm sure most people are familiar with, Need Speed Underground, which I thought came out in like 2001, by the way. No, this game came out in 2003, which means that I think Underground 2 came out in 04, because I know that Most Wanted came out in 05. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Gonna be doing this game next, uh, I did Speed Devils, and it kind of made me want to just, uh, start doing, I don't know, non-realistic, quote-unquote, uh, racing games. Like, you know, street racing games, like Need for Speed games, things like that. Anyway, we're gonna be doing Underground Mode, which is the career mode that everybody knows and loves. Uh, it's not as... I remember, I don't remember this game as well as Underground 2, because I played more Underground 2, and I enjoy Underground 2 more. But, anyway... Welcome to Underground Mo. Your racing career starts here. Take on the toughest drivers on the street and prove you are the ultimate racer. Winners earn cool unlocks and upgrades. Losers go home. Sure. That scared me. You think that was all distorted and everything because I didn't want to show off those horrendous looking models they had? I think I saw like one person. They did not look... They didn't look great. E-brake is... Okay, E-brake is A. I thought it was pointing to the white button. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Why? Oh, God. Okay, that's loud. Where's the remote? Why is it always loud? I don't remember this being the car you use in the first race. Then again, it's been a while since I played this. All right, you super asshole. This game came out at the... I'm pretty sure this game... This game was probably developed because of Fast and the Furious. People were like, man, people love Fast and the Furious. We should make a game like that. Let's look back. That's nitrous. That's handbrake. I should have looked... There we go. Black button, as usual. Black button is usually the look back in most racing games in this era. Now... What I remember from this game is that I couldn't beat it as a kid. Um, which, I mean, I was... As, as, as it has been seen in, uh, Speed Devils, obviously, I'm, I'm not... I was not as... I was not very good at games as a kid, because that game didn't give me much trouble. Ah, uh, I thought I was just gonna, you know, push him over. That actually, that actually worked out pretty well for me. I was just gonna push that car over and just go on about my day, but I remember... I, I gotta remember what game I'm playing here. The traffic does impede you. But anyway. I haven't played this game since I... since Well, I played it a few years ago, but I didn't get very far because I just stopped caring and started playing something else. May, probably Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, but... The, the, I think the last thing I remember about this game is watching KG play it. And I don't... I'm pretty sure he didn't finish it. Although I don't remember, I, I have such awful memory for everything. Um, I remember he had problems. So, I'm expecting this game to be an actual challenge. Regardless. Because I know, I mean, it's, it's, just like in, it's just like in Speed Devils, like I talked about there. Where if you don't have, you know, if you fuck up, you just fuck up one thing. And don't upgrade your car the, a certain way, or... Is that a ninja, is that a sand, I'm about to lose the race. I am about to lose this race. No, no, no. Okay, never mind. Um, it looked like there's a, a samurai dabbing on the side of this car. This is from 2003. This, this was ahead of the times, man. <laughs> is that your fantasy? Look, that's Eddie. Take a good look, man. He's a winner, and winners get mad respect. It ain't just about the car. It's about the attitude. So which one of these is your car? You can't tell me that car that they zoomed in on wasn't painted up to look to to like resemble the cars from that crew in in Fast and the Furious. I don't even know how much more we got. Ten G's. We get a Miata. 
think the neon. There's the neon. No, the neon. Okay, the neon's unlocked. Okay. Oh <sighs> uh, yeah, this game. I, I forget just how you know. I mean, this is this is street racing. You just take your Honda Civic and you put a. Well, I, I guess you wouldn't put a spoiler on. There's already a spoiler on it. You take your Honda Civic and you take that spoiler off and you put a cooler spoiler on it and then you go and race it. So this one has the best handling. It's the most expensive car, therefore it must be... Ouch, that is seriously weak, dude. It's got big handles. Hey, loser. <laughs> Alright, check it. Maybe I can help. Just you and me, one-on-one. -on -one. It's money in the bank. Let's go. You want to be the best? You gotta take these boys down. If you lose, you're gone. Got it? Good. Now move it. Come here to find the latest races. The race map will show you where all the action is. <sighs> Progress. One of 111. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's do the sprint, I guess. Uh, we'll do it on medium. I forgot that that's, the, that's how you pick difficulty in this game. I'm just going to fucking go up medium most of the time, unless I feel really confident about my ability to win races in this game. Here's a hint. <laughs> I don't feel that confident. Okay, imagine showing up to race, and someone just brought their mom's Civic to the or their mom's Volkswagen, and, you all, and all you have really is just a Dodge Neon that you sunk a couple grand into to put a nifty body kit on it that probably will fall off on the most minor of, you know, bumps in the road. This game does stand up pretty well, though, handling-wise, I think. Ow. Okay, the, the Civics can get up and go. How's it going? You wanna fuck off? Oh, no. Okay. Those trees were solid. I've been playing too much. I've been playing Far Cry 2, and, and when you, you get get into cars in that game and every car in that game feels like it's like a snail it, it's it's slow every car in that game is slow so I just walk everywhere I don't think that was a necessary game but okay what ends up what ends up happening in that game is uh you, you know you can you can you can drive off the roads so I so because the car is so slow I end up just driving like cutting as much of the road as I can just like ow good job dumbass I end up, you know, going off-road, just driving through stuff. It's like most of the bushes and trees aren't solid. I really wish that was a thing in more games. I get tired of running smack dab into a damn twig that somehow has the ability to stop me dead in my tracks. Well, that's one race over. So that's nice. I had to turn the music off for obvious reasons. It's 2021. We can't play music on our videos anymore. Although I was watching a video that was from like uh, 2013 where the person was talking about, yeah, I got to turn this music off because otherwise we get content ID'd. And it made me think, has has the whole like horrible content ID thing been, been just like around for that long and I've just forgotten? Hey, what you think? You digging it? Then you got to win. No racing grab, no cool parts. They are sitting very close to the road. Want to look cool and go fast? Here you buy upgrades and turn your car into the baddest ride in the street. Buy and install upgrades here to turn your car's performance from a... Okay, we can't actually... Major can I even buy anything? I can buy... I'm not buying... <laughs> I'm not spending five all my money on bumpers. Sorry, it's not happening. Race map. Yeah, it's a map in the... Oh, fuck yeah. Let's take... I can, I can, I, I can do this. I, I promise I can do this. I don't know how this is going to go, because usually drifting is easier when your car has better performance. My cousin, well, I played New Spinner, oh, there we go. I played Underground 2 with my cousin back in the day. He used to hate the drifting events, because he can never do them. Yep, that's great. Let's get sideways enough and just go. There we go, 4,000. There we go. I made a hundred. I did that for an extra hundred and fifty dollars. Like it really wasn't even worth it. Oh man, somebody's in a two forty. I love the two forty. It's one of my favorite cars. 
Okay, so we have $1,125. I still can't... Oh, God. Uh... I think I'll call you tow truck because that's what's going to be hauling that heat to the dump after this race. You're very nice, I'm sure. Why do I feel like this is going to suck? Okay. Oh, man, we got a... We got somebody that's actually got, you know, non-stock rims. Okay, what is my shift is... X? Yes. There shouldn't be any obstacles. This is the very first drag race. Of course, the guy with the stickers on his car is pulling ahead. But now I will pass him in this plain white Civic. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they give you they give you a pretty easy first race. I could I well, I mean this is on medium. I probably wouldn't have won on hard, or it would have been much closer. <laughs> nice of the traffic to just fuck off for this entire race, huh? Appreciate you guys. Yeah, forty one seventy six. Oh, clutch was the guy in the neon. Okay, he was the one that was talking shit. Well, oh man, I can get t tear or tear tear. I'm assuming tear. Let's do a knockout. I'll do it on hard. I don't care. I don't give a fuck anymore. Ignore the fact that I almost lost the very first race of this series in, like, the prologue race and only won because the AI in front of me slammed into a wall. You don't get... They didn't start... I don't think they started doing the... Actually, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking about how, uh... In Most Wanted, in every race, you can get a perfect launch. Not just drag races, and I, I don't know if they continue that into carbon. I don't know what other new speed games have that. Uh, are you, sir? You and your little Volkswagen are about to get sent to the damn moon if you don't stop blocking me. Run you into oncoming traffic. I think early on it'll be nice. It'll be good to put it on hard. So I think the game's gimping itself to make it easy on me until I can actually have access to upgrades. This is what I like about early get early Need for Speed. Like, not just early Need for Speed games, which are better than the last few that have come out. But, hmm, I don't know if I hit that as dead on as you think I did, game. I think I sideswiped him. Anyway. Early in, in every Need for Speed game early on, you, you always race at tracks that are, you know, short and simple and they don't take three minutes a lap. It's like the longer the game goes, they're like, hey, we gotta add some difficulty to this. So let's make the tracks longer. And let's add more traffic. <laughs> Which I guess is the only way you can add difficulty to this game. Oh, not Wart. Wart got knocked out. How unfortunate for Wart. Is she gaining on me? She she is gaining on me. How? How? What the fuck? What is this rubber... What was that? What did I hit? A sign? What is this rubber banding? Holy hell. <laughs> she got within six tenths of me. She was three seconds down when I started the last lap. What in the fuck? Where did that come from? That's some... R I didn't know I was playing Most Wanted. I didn't know I was racing against Earl. Okay, I'll put it on hard and see if I can hang. I feel like drag races are going to be the only thing that I shouldn't try on hard difficulty. I'm just thinking, you know, there's no magazines. Well, no, there aren't. I think you get magazines in this game by, like, just default, by just progressing. It's not like in Most, wa uh, most Wanted 2. I wish there was a fucking Most Wanted 2. Uh, which Most Wanted 2 is just carbon. It's not like Underground 2 where you have to have a certain style uh, rank for your car. So I think like I should just keep this car stock for as long as possible. Visually. I mean, I'm going to keep it uh, stock uh, performance-wise as long as I can too because you know save more money that way. Which one of you guys is Jose? Ooh, which one is Jose? I want to know. I wasn't paying attention. 
Jose is in third. We got Wart again. Jose is five seconds down. Oh, dear God. All right, I'm just going to do this. That was a, you know, that was calculated. We got this neon with the stripes. Why is it always the cars that are the least modified that are fast? Like, imagine showing up to a race. You got a nice body kit, a spoiler. You know, you got a hood scoop. You got a nice paint job. You got some vinyl. You know, you painted rims. You're looking really cool. Maybe you got some spinners. I don't know. And you get beat by a guy that showed up in a plain white Civic. Like, that it seemingly has no modifications. He even popped the hood and showed you that his engine is completely stock. Like, he brought the papers and everything. He's like, look, man, this thing is, like, this is just, a, this is literally just a Civic I bought a week ago. Which I guess for the, for the telling of the story, uh, there, this is the car that I already had. That everyone was making fun of me for having. And now I'm beating everyone in it. So, I mean, who's the real laughing stock now? You guys, because you're being beaten by a guy in a plain white Civic. Like, it's not even a cool color Civic, it's just plain white. Like, this thing's probably got dust on dirt all over it. Right, it this thing is not easy to keep clean, I can, I'll, I'll say that. You got some sick air there. Do we even get, do we even have a name for this city? Oh, how's it? Jose finished in... Was his name Jose or am I being racist? I'm just going to assume it's Jose and move on with my life. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> I have that... My attention span is... My, my memory is that small. I was like, oh, th this guy. Yeah, cool. Okay. And then I just completely forgot. Like, is it Josie? Or is it, I'm assuming it's Jose. Because he's a guy. And this is a game from 2003. So, naturally, they have to give him... Like, they couldn't name him, like, Mark or anything. They had to name him Jose. Rookie tournament. Okay.